It's Halloween time, one of my favorite parts of the year. And after candy and costumes, that means one thing. Scary movies. I'm a huge horror fan, but there's so much junk out there that it can be hard to find the movies that are... well... any good? So I thought I'd fill you in on five movies that totally took me off guard while I was sifting through the horror category on Netflix. At the time of this recording, they're still there, but even if they aren't anymore, do yourself a favor and go check them out. The Taking of Deborah Logan is easily the weakest of this bunch. A lot of it is really cliché, some of the acting is questionable, and it can be decently cheesy at times. But the performances of the two main characters make the movie. Deborah, played by Jill Larson, could almost carry the movie all on her own, and it's this performance that lends the movie such a good sense of unease, if not a ton of outright terror. I also appreciated the movie being presented as a completed documentary, rather than a bunch of quote-unquote found footage that was just pieced together or whatever. If you're into a decent, if old hat movie with some great acting, give The Taking of Deborah Logan a try. I'll try to keep this one short, because the less you know about Pontypool, the better. I'll just say that it's an awesome take on an old genre and terrifically utilizes the human imagination. Plus, I could listen to Stephen McHattie all day. Ken Loney in the Sunshine Chopper. It's like having a cowboy massage your ears. Anyway, it should be noted that Pontypool is for the patient type, so maybe leave this one off the list for your Halloween night gore fest. In ABCs of Death, 26 filmmakers are each given a letter of the alphabet and tasked with creating a short using that letter on the subject of death. Do not watch the first ABCs of Death. It is terrible and stupid and nearly every filmmaker decided to do something bizarre and awful. <clears throat> in my humble opinion. Everyone must have seen how it turned out, however, because ABCs of Death 2 is phenomenal. There are just so many terrific shorts here, and even the worst of them aren't too bad. Still prepare yourself for some bizarre and disturbing stuff, though, as this horror anthology is all over the place. And just so you know, if I had to pick, I think I'd say R was my favorite. I'm grouping VHS 1 and 2 together here because, well, I'm a cheater. These ones are probably more well-known as far as horror goes, but whenever I saw the cover, I had the same reaction that just about everybody I know had. What is this, some dumb movie about another cursed tape or some junk? No thanks. Once I watched them, though, I was hugely surprised by how awesome they are. They're also horror anthologies, and each entry is found footage. Again, sounds pretty cliche, but the quality of the shorts is just phenomenal, and the found footage thing feels at home in this shorter format, so it never feels stale, as it often does when it's stretched across an hour and a half. Again, I don't want to spoil too much, but I really urge you to check out these movies. You probably want to skip the third movie, though, as I haven't heard great things about it. Last on the list, Oculus was a really pleasant surprise. It's the story of two siblings trying to take revenge on an evil mirror. Their childhood ordeal with said mirror is slowly revealed in a sort of parallel telling, so it's a lot like Stephen King's It in that respect. Some of the performances could have been better, and it starts to sort of meander near the end, but overall it's really smartly written and really entertaining. It's clear that a lot of thought went into the idea, and the end product is just a great piece of horror cinema. Special kudos go to the two child actors, who, funny enough, probably gave more impressive performances than their adult counterparts. Well, I hope you like some of these movies and that my taste in horror movies isn't total junk. <laughs> this is my first horror thing on the channel, so be sure to let me know if you're into this and want more. I'd love to do more lists and reviews and stuff. Okay guys, stay safe on the 31st and don't OD on candy. Happy Halloween! What is this? Yippee! I love Halloween!